What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's gravy, baby. I hope everybody's good. This is a little different today because I'm kind of like chopping some things up while I'm getting ready for work. You know what I'm saying? It's early in the a.m., you know, cold as shit outside. So I'm up here just, you know, just chopping it up a little. I might pull out some cards, but who knows? Because I'm trying to do things and get ready at the same time and create at the same time. So it is what it is. I noticed yesterday, okay, the night before I was watching this movie, right? I was watching Norbert, right? And then while I was at my client house, I was watching other movies. And I noticed in all these fucking movies I happened to catch, it was about people, this men's being married to these wife. And for the crazy part is, these men came from orphanage. They was raised in an orphanage, okay? That's what was so ironic. They came from or- orphanage, but these were some really kind-hearted, sweetheart souls. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they was very sweet, and their wives were taking advantage of their sweetness and pretty much trying to boss them around, trying to control them, trying to make them feel like they ain't nothing. Like, who else going to want you? You ain't going nowhere. I can treat you how I want to treat you because it's not like you going no fucking world thinking like nobody will want them you feel what i'm saying like they the best thing they can get type shit making it hell for them everybody seen norbert right how fresh brucher fresh brucher was like just cheating on him and shit and then when he had a nerve to get up and go she talking about some i got a little bun like she was trying all these antics to get him to come back and stuff and the only reason she can really get him to come back when she was threatening the one he you know who show him compassion, kindness, and treat him like a human being. She used to try to threaten the outside person to get him. And then on the other movie, the girl kept saying, he's an orphanage. And she was just looking for somebody to marry and use. Okay? She like, he's an orphanage. He don't drink. He don't sell. He don't have no type of fun. What can I do with this? Okay, they had children. One child. She just used him for his money. Like, now go make us some money. Go make us some money. Like, wouldn't show this man no love. Kept putting down when he had ideas. He Both of them used to go to the homeless shelter to help out. She said, why are you helping out for free? They ain't, like, nobody had time. They, this person was doing some kind act, and these bitches were just worrying about what they can do for them. Okay? But like in the movie, both of them left these wicked-ass bitches wise for somebody who really cared for them. Okay? And then one movie, shit, the other movie, the boy had a wife, like, he left that girl finally, never come back, he was trying to get to his son, he did care for his son, and mom made it seem like he, um, he can't be around the boy no more, and this and that, but yet she couldn't even find a man who wanted to take her, his ch- his, his, her child like his own daddy wanted to take her his child, bitch, you can let him go with the daddy, and then you can date and be a whore like you want to be, okay, instead you're trying to find another stepdad for the boy, and the other daddy wasn't even absent in the first place, right? But you were just being an ass because he didn't want to take, be controlled or manipulated by your ass no more because you thought you was going to treat him any kind of way. He wasn't going to go nowhere and he's gone. But they both end up finding somebody else. But you see how much shit they had to go through. Like the, the person who didn't really care about them made their life hell just for them to be happy. It's like they didn't want to see them happy because the poor soul they carry. This is the movie. But I'm just saying you see how evil don't like poor happiness. How misery won't company or they want to feel like they are better in some type of way. But really they ain't because they got an ugly ass attitude. Very ugly on the inside. Okay. And then it got me thinking like why people be talking about foster kids like that. Like I even know I understand reading this story people talking about foster kids. Right. But how do you know some of them foster kids on some real shit. Grow up better than some of y'all in these homes who got parents. Feel what I'm saying? So all kids with foster care is not bad. Their parents knew they weren't going to be able to give them what they want. Some had them. Most of y'all have abortions. Some of them have them and made sure they got, you know, put them somewhere. But still, some of them orphanages is better off than y'all sometimes. There's some people that stayed in there with their parents because they gave you trauma and drama and shit. And I couldn't understand it all. Like, why they be on them so hard? Because the ones I see in the movie, they really kind of sweet. They can't help. You know what I'm saying? Maybe God just wanted them here. No matter who they came through. 
but they just needed them here, you know? And that be sweet, so why y'all be trying to be like, I don't know. And then this other movie I was also watching, the girl did not want to let the boy know that she grew up in the foster care because how people think of them. Like, y'all, every movie I was damn near watching, nobody wanted, who grew up in the foster care, they was not no bad person. The ones who was a bad person, they still had a heart. Like, they was, like, rough around the edges, but they, they didn't like bullies. They take, like, the good ones from bullies and shit. They couldn't help with life standards, and they just happened to run across the wrong person who wasn't trying to show them, you know, who tried to manipulate them and take advantage of them, okay? So, like, every first home movie I see, I see them run across somebody who took advantage of them. But they weren't a bad people at fucking all. So, I don't know. It's just, to me, like, stop doing that shit. Stop judging shit that you don't know shit about. Okay? Shit happens and people end up somewhere, okay? But the ones I noticed in these movies that was in foster care, them was the most truest, sweetest hearts. And when they came out to the world, it was y'all worldly people who had parents that y'all stayed with was the ones who needed help the most. Like, you try to break them. At least when they left the foster care, they try to go back and give back to them, okay? And and it's like, and some foster care's got people, like people in schools got people who's really... God sent them there to help people like out, you know, help the like unfortunate and stuff. And they really love what they do and they really fucking care. So they really had genuine care and love. So let's don't, let's don't. But that move was very interesting how they was taking advantage of these foster care people who grew up in there. But, you know, now grown ain't in there no more. And you judging them by their goddamn background, which they don't live there no more. I'm going to need you to judge them by their presence. And then the way people try to take advantage of them and treat them and take their kindness. Because they, I'm thinking, they thinking in their head, oh, they ain't had no proper guidance. So I'm going to guide them the way I want them to be. Like, they giving me that. Okay. But at the end, they still stand up 10 times. They end up in a better position anyway. They end up on top anyway. You feel what I'm saying? So I was just like, oh, I am just like, because they kept showing me this shit. Showing me this shit, right? And I was just like, okay, that's cool. That's cool, right? Okay? So I just had to say something on that because don't ever get it motherfucking twisted. It's not where you came from. It's not where you been. It's where the fuck you going. Y'all, and I feel like some people hold from people past to make, because their future is hell. Their presence is hell. So they want you to live in hell with them because they living in it now and you out of it. Okay? And it wasn't even really hell. It was like getting you prepared for life. You can t- They can't even walk in your shoes if they wanted to. Feel what I'm saying? You know how motherfuckers be lost and broken if they ain't know where they began that or where they started? But now you know you uniquely your own. You come with your own DNA. So all you have to do is look within yourself to find out who the fuck you are. Okay? All right. I'm going to let that one go. Okay. And then, like, the other day I was really at work, y'all. And everybody was showing me that, like, my my two people was chilling. One of them showed me their parents. Okay? I said, I see, I see. Okay? A person showed me their parents. I was like, Okay. I was showing them my parents. And as I went back to the parent thing, and I was looking, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I know I seen it, but it, for some reason, something hit me. It really hit me like, oh, okay. Because I'm kind of caring and loving, right? But on both of my pictures, I'm showing them my daddy and mama was affectionate as hell. Like, Hugging up on each other. You could tell they were, like, really hugging up on each other. Like, you, they was goddamn nose wide open type shit. Dressing the light. You know what I'm saying? All black. on black. on black. On both of them. They gave me, like, hippie vibes. They gave me musician and goddess vibes and shit. So I was like, oh, okay, that's why I love like I love. Like, that's why I'm so affectionate. That's why I like affection. I, I, I'm, I'm picking this shit up. Like, okay, my parents showed me this. Now... I noticed, like, people I'm with, like, they straight. Like, one of them, their parents are separate. It's cool, okay? Another one, they old school, okay? But me, I was just like, oh, okay. I see where I'm at. Now, maybe they're going to get, like, a better understand. Like, I feel like they got a better understanding why I am who I am. Because, like, I don't know. I dress different than everybody. I, don't, I really kind of don't give a damn. You know, black is my color, okay? Which I'm about to put on all black today. So, like... I don't know, and that's what most of my parents rock was black. You know what I'm saying? 
So, I, and it touched me, and it made me, like, really keep going, because I'm like, now I see where I get that love affection shit from. That's why I know I'm affectionate. I remember riding in the car with them, and everywhere we go, my dad used to always put his hand on her thigh. I just think that was so nasty, though. Back, I'm sitting in the back seat, and he put his hand on her thigh. And I was just like, oh, shit, that's nasty. Like, but that's the affection. He, like, his affection is by touch. You know what I'm saying? He looked out. And then I was thinking, and I was talking to another person, he was like, yeah, I'm going to have this girl. She said her head was hurting. You know, she owned. Most guys don't know how to deal with girls when they own. They menstrual. But I gave. She said her head. He said, I went to the store. I bought $30 worth of stuff. I bought everything she needed. I got the candy and everything. Everything. I said, did you get them all down? He told me, yeah, I got all the stuff you can think of. And laid it out to us. They said, if your head hurting, here you go. Did it is, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And I said, that's unique. I said, I like that. Because you know why? Because it makes me think, like, shit ain't what it used to be almost no more. I said, because my mama was the in-house. Like, she stayed in the house because she had, like, a stroke or whatnot. So she had to learn how to do shit again. But they didn't stop her from shit because she still had her common motherfucking sense, period. Even though she had to learn her skills again. And I remember that my dad used to buy my pads. My dad used to go to the store and get them. You know what I'm saying? And that was amazing to me. And for him to know what type of mod on to give me, because I used to cramp like hell, I used to get my mod on, my pads and stuff. My daddy went to do that. My mama didn't go, my daddy went. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't had to go, and then to the point I had to go by myself, he was like, I'm like, I'm embarrassed. Girl, what you embarrassed about? I said, I don't want because I was so used to him already having it. Like on Valentine's Day, he always have us um, bought us some chocolate, have us some chocolates. That's why today on Valentine's Day, I always give my kids something for Valentine's Day. I get them some chocolates and flowers and shit. I just does that because that's what he did for me and it made me feel special. You feel me? So you won't look for love outside the house from nobody. I'm already giving it to you in house, okay? So that was sweet. I felt like that was sweet. And them Sunday breakfasts we used to always have and shit. You know what I'm saying? But we weren't the riches, but I was like rich spiritually. You know what I'm saying? I was rich. When it comes to the love, you feel what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. And I'm going to be real with you. You got to chill because, like, and people, the only reason I go as hard as I do because, like, my dad, was, my dad didn't finish. He didn't go past seventh grade, y'all. But he went to the Army. He wasn't a good reader. But somehow he figured out how to fix cars and was good at fixing cars. He learned that shit on his own. To make it so bad, not make, so, make it so bad, make it so good that he ended up on his own gas station. Now notice, he ain't have no college degree, none of that, okay? He was mostly self-made. That's why I be trying to, some of us is just self-made. And me just knowing that and see where he been, just by his experience, getting what he got from his experience and learning on his own. Th- th- me seeing that, nobody can't tell me shit, okay? I hate when motherfuckers say, motherfuckers ain't educated. Okay, bitch, you easy to be programmed. But when you come down here naturally knowing, naturally knowing you can't be, be programmed. And that's knowing you ain't about to work, not about to go by these people's rules to get what you want. But you're going to always get what you want because how you connected to source. Like, no matter what. No matter what, okay? People use this. You know how many educational people be wild by me? Like, people that be like, like, I be surprised who be interested in me. And these be some top motherfuckers. Like, I be like, whoa, you a whole CEO. You a whole VI. And they ain't looking at me like I'm down or nothing, like I'm dingy or nothing. They looking like, damn. I give them another perspective of shit. Like, okay, you got that, but why you been knowing the shit within you that's telling you the shit already? You feel what I'm saying? Like, why you ain't learning? Okay, you learn the shit outside of you, but what's up in you? Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Like, what is up in you type shit? Okay? Because people be forgetting there be so much bullshit going on, bro. And, and I can't take shit. I can't look at shit the way I look at shit. I don't give a fuck how people take me because when you've been here a couple times, you already know what the fuck it is. You know how this shit is. Y'all be like, racist, racist, this, this. It don't even fucking matter. Because hell, I'm in all colors. <laughs> I experience all colors. Things, animals, experienced it all. So this is experience. Okay? Experience. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? That's all I'm going to fucking say.
Because I wanted to say something else, but it might offend a lot of motherfuckers. And I ain't, I ain't with it. I ain't with it. Okay? Sometimes you got to check people's mental state. People think you crazy, but your mental is so sane than theirs. Then when you ask a question, they, they can't even answer. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to wake up my child, y'all. She about to go. So, it is what it is. So, we got to chill out on this judging, pointing fingers. Because don't forget, for it's pointing back at you. Get to understand people, not just throw shit on people. You know, don't be jealous of people. Okay? There's a lot of that going on. Because you ain't paying attention to yourself so you can know what God have blessed, the blessing God have for you or your higher self have for you. Okay? So that's what I had to say. Because <laughs> it was interesting to me. Like, I was like, I was like, why I keep watching these movies about these orphanage? And why they keep treating them like that? Like, it gives me, like, <sighs> some people base they base their worth on material. Some people base their worth on wealth. Some people base their worth on everything but who they are within. And that's what matters the most. Get what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? That's why I pray every day. God surround the people with people who heart, um, got a heart like mine. We ain't doing shit just to say nothing. We really care because that's is that's in the act. I don't do shit to win. I winning to me is doing what's fucking right. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't. That's why I don't understand why people be competing for. What we competing for? I'm trying to be the better me than I was yesterday. You know. I'm trying. Okay. You got people can't even face their damn self because they didn't did so much. Instead of just facing themselves and understanding, like, yeah, I did that. Well, I'm going to do differently. I'm not. You know, learning from what you just did, you just sit in it. And that's why probably why they be bringing up the past. The past was the lessons you learned. Present is the now. The future is going to be the outcome that you learned from these lessons that you went through. Or what you thought was right and was what. Okay. It is what it is. Okay? <laughs> All right. Some of y'all making y'all life y'all purpose. Okay? Like, me, I work with children during the week. I work with the elderly on the week. Stay to myself. Okay? And I come out here and try to put some energy out to y'all. So everything I do is with a fucking purpose. It's not for no ill wills, not no for no. I'm glad. Oh, you ain't my baby. No, you was. Uh, you gonna put her clothes? Hell no, nah, I gotta put on my own. You just lazy, nay. Vey, vey. Let's get ready. She already got her clothes. All I need you to do is slip back the ponytail on the edges. Ponytail called slip back. Yeah, um, Scarlet Mama just texted me. You getting ready? She coming at eight. You leaving after me. I'm going to get dressed now. Okay, love you. Look grumpy over here. This is... Mom, um, Lady Luck. Mommy's Lady Luck. You sure the hell is. Yeah, but your birthday first. It's about to be Mother's Day. She done brought Mother's Day, Valentine's Day early as hell this year. Anywho. I didn't want my car. It's cold as hell out there. But anywho. Honey, yeah, she trying to get rid of my baby. She, she could have. No, you don't try to rush to get rid of my baby. Your ass been chilling all week. Anywho. And how she be kicking me out of my own house like it's her stuff. That's what, that's what be getting me. Like, <laughs> I think this heifer think this hers. I think, bitch, I'm still here. It's not yours yet, you know? But 
Yeah, y'all, you got to look, and that's why I be on here, okay? <laughs> I just be wanting to chop it up a little bit. I ain't had too much, had too much. I used to come with readings, but some of y'all, man, just be careful who y'all dealing with. Don't put up with shit because you need to stop needing people. A lot of men, I need y'all to get your own. You know how many men I knew I met and I asked them, so have you ever had your own or have you ever stayed by yourself? They always been in a relationship all that whole time, so they always stayed with somebody. So when a person ready to, like, divorce them and move on because the kid's grown and the only reason they had them there is to help them with the kids. So they was a good person now with kids. They a good round person. And I'm thinking the only reason they was there to have somewhere to stay, but maybe they thought it was really love. Once everybody use who, them for whatever they need to use them for them and they don't no longer need you no more, they throw you to the side. It's best to have your own shit. Okay, own shit. Nobody gonna have respect if you don't have your own shit. And some of y'all too kind, and, and y'all deal with these like low vibrational, evil ass, controlling ass people, and they don't have no love for your ass either. Like they just getting what benefit them. They is like snobby ass, little snobs. Okay, look, look. I get the best and. You just, that shit, that shit ain't cool either. You know what I'm saying? Like, breaking somebody down and building your stuff up, that's not cool. At all. So. It's not, and then you got women, you got to be careful. You got men who trying to use your sympathy to goddamn stay with your ass. Have somewhere to stay. You know what I'm saying? As long as I show them love, they have me somewhere to stay, but not building with you. You, that's your child now. You got some men that pregnant this woman to make sure they don't have no work so they can't kick them out. Because you're going to need me, even though I'm not. I'm doing the bare minimum. Make you think you can't raise them kids by your damn self. But they perfectly gave you all them kids so they don't have to, so you won't have to kick them out. You can deal with some shit and you're too tired to even, you know what I'm saying? But people be surprised how strong they really are once they stand alone. Once you start letting people manipulate your shit, you know what I'm saying? When you walk in your purpose, just come with the territory. I know it's hard to find like-minded people like you around your area, but sometimes you do get lucky. You will notice which ones is which. Okay? And don't let everybody in your business. Some people trying to ask you questions, act like they conversating with you just to be in your fucking business. I done seen that go on this week, too. I done seen somebody getting to know somebody and then came right back and told they fucking business. Okay. And since I'm the one, the type don't be in people's face, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, I, I keep distance. They'll look at me like I'm acting, I'm the wrong one, but the one who in your face talking to you is the wrong one because all they want to do is fish information for you baby okay so when you see people moving differently than others don't judge them all the time they just different they stand out from the others they don't fit in see somebody that keeps to their self don't judge them they just keep to their damn self and they ain't bothering nobody okay but I'm just having a little chit chat with y'all. That's it. I ain't really want too much. Not too much. I ain't doing no reading. This was just like a little chill, chill time. A little chop it up while I get ready. Me and Vaya get up at this house and do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? To set the spark in the world like we do. Like we do. You know? So I'm just trying to affect the life, you know what I'm saying? Not affect in a bad way, but, you know, bring my little shimmy shine out there. Help as much as I can. Bring some encouragement to keep it going, baby. That's the legacy. <laughs> We're going to raise as much vibrations as we can. I'm going I'm to I'm call out the shit they don't see. The beauty within ye, okay? <laughs> so I hope y'all have a blessed day. I ain't want too much. I'll probably be back later for reading. I just wanted to chop it up with y'all. Just chit-chat. Okay. Y'all have a blessed one. Watch your thoughts. Treat others like you want to be treated. 
and don't be so judgmental okay y'all i always say this all the time and i say it for a fucking reason okay thank y'all for vibing with me no matter what and love y'all bye